Alright lads, the new arena game mode is here in less than 24 hours. We found out a lot of news today, so this is probably going to be a long one. However, I'm not going to repeat what I did say in my other video, the, the one I did release a couple of days ago. So for the most part, I'm going to be just showcasing some of the new stuff that we did find out today. And some of the things that I find interesting and I think is worth talking about. So that being said, let's jump straight into it, talking about the new arena game mode, which is almost here. So one of the big things we did learn today is the character ranks, right? So as you are aware, getting wins in this game does give you trophies and you use those trophies to level up your character or just naturally ranks up your character. So one of the things we did learn is that once you hit rank 7, if you lose a game, then you lose trophies. So this right here, I really do appreciate it. adds a bit of competitiveness to it. It means that sometimes in the higher leagues, let's say, for example, you are like a very high level, you're just farming in significantly, you're farming a lot, you're going against good players too that are also very high in the ranking, that are also rank 7 and above, it adds some competitiveness to it where you don't want to lose because if you do, you're going to get penalized for it. So I do actually really appreciate this little change that we didn't know beforehand, and I like it. So beforehand, if you're not rank 7, you're casually playing, if you lose, it's not that big of a deal, but once you get past rank 7, this is where it becomes a bit sweaty, and you want to try your hardest along with your teammates to get as much points as possible to make sure you aren't getting demoted on the leaderboards and also for your rank itself. So as we do know support links are a thing in this game and you do get extra support link slots for ranking up. So I think at rank 7 is probably when you unlock all the slots to put your links on. So it's not that big of a deal. I think it just adds a bit of competitiveness to it and it shows who is a better player if you are higher ranked past rank 7. And then we also have confirmation that you have the arena points. The arena points you're going to be using for the battle pass. And you get 200 a day. But if you want to watch an ad, you can reset the meter and get an additional 200 points. So make sure you are playing on your phone or an emulator. And you have those ads enabled to get, you know, double points every single day. Now, for the most part, this whole season looks like it's going to last a very long time. And from what I did see... Maxing the battle pass will take you around 18 to 20 days, but if you're doing the double points, so you're watching the ad every single day, it's going to take you around 10 to 9 days. So very easy stuff, like it's not that big of a deal, it's, you don't have to try hard, all you got to do is to play a couple games a day, and you can easily max out the battle pass. And they also do mention we have the arena coins, which we do need to increase our character's arena abilities. And then this part of the news is just explaining some of the terminology because there is a lot to talk about as you can see right here. Uh, so essentially arena traits, every character in this game mode now has a new trait. For example, Danga Ichigo does have 10% damage reduction on top of the fact that he already has a 20% non-attack damage soul trait. So that's actually very cool. This is when you are linking a character, they're going to use the arena trait and not the normal soul trait that you're normally used to linking other characters. In addition to that, you can also unlock a second arena trait, which for the most part is just a stat increase to their base stats. In addition to that, when linking that character on a support link you can also give those extra stats if you do have them at rank 5 then we have the arena abilities for the most part they are 5% stat increases every time you level up there are 10 levels and at level 5 and potentially 10 you get a new skill from what we did see with Dangai Ichigo it was a paralysis immunity so maybe some characters will get something actually very good we don't know if they might unlock long stride if they do that will be huge but for the most part we can assume for now it's just going to be immunities like freeze paralysis is all weakening. In addition to that, we did find out with the arena rank, you can actually unlock six support link slots, which is absolutely insane. Uh, for the most part, with what we did see, it was either four or five, but six is actually very good. So you can link a lot of characters to your main character to make them a lot better, give them extra stats, give them extra abilities. I very much do like that. And the last thing to mention is the special move level bonus, which we don't know the exact percentage, but what we did see is that a character 1-5 will have all stats increased by 4%, but at 5-5, five, five, it might peak at 25%. And in this game mode where you don't use accessories and you don't have transcendence, that potential 20% increase in stats could be quite quite huge and it definitely will give you a small advantage. But it's not nearly as big or as broken as transcendence would have been if that did account in this game mode. Another thing we did find out is that there are three type of rankings. There's going to be the player's ranking, the individual character ranking, and also a guild ranking. So it does encourage some kind of competitiveness in the ranking leaderboards. We're not sure what you do get for ranking high if you even get anything, but it is nice to see that there is some ranking system in the game just to add, again, that extra bit of competitiveness. Now, this thing here, I didn't really understand all too well. Season leagues. The rankings for season leagues are based on the number of trophies players acquire during a set period. Playing a match once enters you into a season and the season begins when 30 players have entered that's why i'm really confused and i'm not really sure exactly what that does mean if there's rankings in this or not uh but yeah i guess we'll find out tomorrow 
Then we have the Arena Awards, which is definitely what some of you lads are most interested in. So we have the Arena Rank Rewards, which encourages you to level up a lot of different characters. Essentially, when you get a character to level 2, 3, or 4 for the first time, you get certain extra bonuses, right? So for example, you could get Arena Coins, and you could get Arena Medals for the Exchange Shop. So this encourages you to not only rank up one character, but a large portion or variety of other characters. Then we have the license rewards, which I'm assuming is the battle pass. I, I'm not 200% certain on that, but uh, for the most part, I'm just going to assume that is the battle pass. Uh, they also mentioned the arena medal exchange, which they don't show what we do actually get um, in this exchange shop. But I can almost guarantee that the five-star Ichigo, the mind one, is going to be there because they do actually showcase it somewhere in this news. And then we also have some free orders where you can get additional 50 knobs just for ranking up and doing things in this game mode. After that, they mentioned how long this season is going to be. So for this particular season, it's only going to be two weeks long. Now, I think that's mainly because it's only starting halfway through the month. I think for the most part, every single season is going to last a month long because the rewards for this are actually quite good. It gives us around 400 orbs, I believe, or maybe 300 plus. And if they're giving that out every single every two weeks, yeah, that's just not happening. So I do think it's a monthly occurrence. It's just this one, for example, is only going to last two weeks because it's starting so late into the month. This one also gives us a map layout so we are only going in the Serite map hopefully sometime in the future we can go in Waco Mundo we can go in maybe Karakura Town we'll find out in the future this one also has Soripa enemies so you do want to be bringing your Soripa killers it's not necessary because it doesn't have killer times five but if you do have killer you're just getting that extra tad bit of damage and also strong attack damage times two so again this is actually encouraging you to be bringing your strong attack characters I don't think it's good to bring that characters maybe ones that have guard break are going to be go to here maybe Tokinata for example would actually be very good but for me personally i'm just gonna be sticking to bringing sp characters and then we have a bunch of limited orders which is going to be giving us these uh spears which you are going to be using to level up your arena abilities right so you have uh use a heart character you get heart spears use a power character use a technique uh, finish a quest using five heart characters. So again, this is encouraging to use a lot of different characters. Five power, speed, heart, and mind characters. They also want you to play 10 games and you're going to get 6,000 arena coins. Which, for the most part, I believe will allow you to level up one character to the max. From what we did see from level 1 to 5, it takes 2,000 coins. So maybe from 1 to 10... To max out a character's abilities to the max, it's only going to take around 6,000, which is a very significant amount of coins. But at least they're giving out a lot. So at least for your very first character, you can max them very easily, potentially in the first day. And then right at the bottom, it does mention that the stamina is times 20. So that's how you know how much stamina you do have. Whatever you do have, just times it by 20. And that's what you're going to have when you are playing this character in that game modes. And that's all to talk about when it comes to the arena game mode itself. But alongside that, we also have a release celebration. And this is definitely one of the better celebrations of the game. Because good lord, Caleb are going out. So as we do know, this new game mode encourages new players to start the game again. Or just overall, just take new 6-star characters into this game mode when you don't have to max them out. So they're giving us a crap ton of free 6-star characters. Which, even for someone like me, who I'm almost guaranteed to be getting just non-stop dupes. I'm still appreciating this because it's a lot of 6-star characters to transcend them points. And... Depending on the character I do get, I might actually want to dupe them out. So I actually really do like this. Now, one of the more exciting things to come alongside this uh, promotion campaign or arena release celebration is the Choose a Six Star Summon, and it's coming early this time. Now, one of the main things about this is that it's Choose Five Characters, and you get one of the five that you have chosen. So, your chances have now been doubled in, you know, before it was one in ten, now it's one in five. So, I very much do like that change. Hopefully, that transfers over to the anniversary Choose a Six Star Summon. Speaking of that, as you can see right here, this Choose a Six Star ends July 23rd, which just so happens to be when the anniversary starts when we should get another choose a six star and that one should include more up-to-date characters so speaking of the characters i have made a tier list of maybe the some of the characters you might want to pick for the most part there aren't any like two amazingly uh, good characters in here that are, are must summons so what i would actually recommend is just pick who you want pick who's new uh but if you are some of a newer player these might help you out the bottom tier of characters some of them are actually still pretty usable some of them are good i'm not saying any of them are bad but for the most part personally with what i use they they're just orbs they're just orbs for me, and they're probably just going to be just orbs for you. Then we have some good links here. We have a 14 recharge, a full stam plus NAD, a full stam, 20 DR, 20 DR, 25 full stam, 14 recharge, 25 full stam, 14 recharge, and another 14 recharge. These lot you might use, but for the most part, they're just going to be links. 
Then we have some flurry cards without guard break. These are going to be used in the hard difficulty of GQ. They can be used in normal play, but for the most part, a lot of veterans out there only really use these characters when playing the hard difficulty of GQ. Then you have your Chronicle Quest characters, which are a must have in my opinion. You have to farm Chronicle Quest every single month and they increase the amount of drops that you do get, decrease the amount of soul tickets that you spend, decreasing the amount of time that you spend on this specific game mode. So it is very important that you do get most of these Chronicle Quest bonus characters. And uh, then we have just another set of pretty good characters that I, I see myself using if I have them. Harley Bell should be getting a resurrection sometime next month, so she might even get better. Uh, these type of characters are pretty okay. I use them myself in certain parts of the game. I used her in G Guild Quest. Kiske is actually very good in Epic Raids. And then you just have some other good characters to you're not bad you're not bad you're still pretty good you're resurrectable and an anniversary character so you are quite still rare to a certain extent okura is going to be receiving his resurrection for the anniversary so you might not want to get him here and you could actually just buy him sometime next month baruch is a very good link and also a very good character thanks to a resurrection and then you just have some other pretty good characters they're not ranked in order by the way but mugetsu anniversary character still very much usable and same goes for this rukia so yeah that's the tier list that i just quickly scrapped together again pick who you one it's not that deep and again remember we are going to be getting a new chooser six star for the anniversary that's going to include better characters and that's the one you want to really think about who you are choosing for this one just pick whoever it's not a big of a deal Going alongside that, we also have two six-star summons that you're going to get just for logging into the game. So there's going to be a 15-day login bonus where you can get 120 orbs, and you can also get two six-star summon tickets just for logging into the game, which is actually very like very nice. Now, one thing I do want to point out is it is called an Arena Edition ticket. So you can't save these for the anniversary in the hope of support six anniversary character. That's not going to happen. But it very well might include every single character in this list. So if that is the case... I would say hold out doing your choose a six star. Wait until you get all the arena six star tickets and then see what you have left over. Because let's say, for example, you you get third anniversary Okura, right? He's a new character, but then you get him from the arena ticket. Then you kind of just wasted your choose a six star. So I would actually recommend holding out, not using them straight away until we find out if this specific ticket only includes the character from the choose a six star. We don't know. We might find out soon. So I, I encourage most of you lads to do wait on the choose a six star. After that, we have two rounds of orders, one of them giving us a six-star ticket and the other one also giving us a six-star ticket. So this one is going to be from tomorrow all the way to the end of the month. So this one has two weeks, right? So you have to play 100 games, by the way, which is quite a lot of games to play in two weeks' time. I will do it, but at least the main one you are going for is the six-star summon ticket, which all you got to do is play 25 games. So you can easily do that in two weeks' time. No stress there. Then the other one, again, another two-week period. So this one here is going to be giving us, again, basically the exact same was a six star ticket at 25 games and then this one here the 15 orbs at 100 games which sure if you want to go for go for it, it's the orbs but the main one to go for is the six star ticket so don't stress yourself if you can't be 100 games that's perfectly fine and then they also mentioned the Arena Game Mode live stream, which you had to retweet 4,000 times to get a free 6-star ticket, which we already have done, by the way. So we are going to be getting that uh, tomorrow, I believe. Maybe, I'm not too sure, but we are getting it soon. Don't worry, we have beaten it. We have got the 4K retweet, so very good stuff right there. Shout out to the community for that. And with that, lads, that is basically all the Arena news that we did have today. We found out a lot of stuff today, a lot of exciting stuff, but at the same time, we still don't know everything. There's still some things left up in the air. We don't know the full list of the battle pass that is there. They didn't really mention the battle pass and whether it can actually be bought with orbs or not. They didn't mention what's in the meadow exchange, but they do showcase the mind Ichigo. Again, you can see them actually here. This one's the technique one. If you actually look at this picture right here, you can see that they are using the mind Ichigo. So they're still somewhat like hinting that he's coming to the game, but they haven't announced him just yet. He's not a good character, by the way, but he is going to be giving you potentially 125 orbs if anything he'll give 75 so we'll have to wait and see but we should find out tomorrow in the meadow exchange shop and that right there like is basically all for today's video very exciting stuff uh definitely save the news today after the embarrassment that this uh current movie banner is absolutely terrible what this banner is don't summon on this it is not worth it i'm not even excited to even watch the gameplay that's how bad it is so that being said hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know what you are most excited for as part of this new arena game mode let me know what you think about it and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.